Lashon HaKodesh Kadam. Lashon HaKodesh Kadam. Copyright 2013 by Alan Horvath. All rights reserved. For more information, visit Alan's YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash watch Alan. Lashon equals the language. Hakodesh equals of dedication. Kadam equals from the beginning. The Father remains the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And with that in mind, he commanded us to never add to or take away from his word. Unfortunately, after nearly 6,000 years, his word has been augmented and diminished in a myriad of ways, not only by interpreting the original Aramaic slash Hebrew writings of scripture into other languages, but also by reading those interpretations with a very different mindset, a very different way of thinking, which misconstrues the things the Father is actually saying. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Mashiach, Yahshua, Philippium, Philippians 2.5. To have the mind of Mashiach means to think as Yahshua thought, and to think as he thought, we must understand the Eastern mindset that he had. And this requires an adjustment to our Western way of thinking. Even the Hebrew language in today's modernized version has been Westernized to a great degree. Consider these differences. Yad Western mindset based on abstract ideas. Attention is given to form. A pencil is a yellow stick with a pink rubber ball on one end and a dark gray point at the other end. You must understand in order to do. Everything is viewed as either slash or. There is only one way of seeing things. It's either this or that. Example, grace. All concordances and dictionaries define grace, or even the Hebrew word chana, as favor and kindness. Abstract terms which display no object of any kind and take you right back to where you started. Nowhere.
Kadam, Eastern Mindset, based on concrete ideas. Attention is given to function. A pencil is something I write with. You must do in order to understand. There are multiple ways of seeing things. Example, grace. The father's pictograph letters for this word, chana or kana, paint a picture of pitching a tent with Elohim. Reading from right to left. Chet, chet. Nun, che, che, to protect and surround, chet, his children, nun, teaching them through revelation, che, By learning to study key words in scripture, using the father's original pictographic alphabet, rather, alphabet, we will begin to change our ways of thinking. We will start seeing the word and its message as it was intended to be seen. And eventually, we will begin to see not only that the whole word is a picture of Yahshua, but that the picture itself is built on the most basic elements, a house, a family, and a garden. The Father's word and his alphabet are comprised of the most basic and simple things for us to understand. It's all about the sun rising in the east, bursting light into the darkness or setting in the west and diminishing into darkness. Water being washed by his word. Blood being purchased by the shedding of his blood. Seeds, the good seed and the bad seed. Thorns, roots, trees and vines, branches and shoots and fruit. It's all about eyes, what we see, ears, what we hear, hearts, what we understand, arms and hands, what we do, feet, which path to we walk on, heads, what we think and who our headship is, mouths, what we say and who we praise. And it's all about the house of Elohim, the family, the door, Yahshua, a tent peg which secures our house, a plowing tool used to dig into his word and to plant seeds with, a fence that surrounds and protects, a basket that catches fish and stores bounty and a staff that steers and teaches the flock. With that being understood, we do not need to learn the Aramaic slash Hebrew language at all, because the Father's anointed message is clearly preserved in each picture he has painted through the letters of his alphabet. 
Consider Alexander the Great, who at the early age of 18 conquered the entire world. How did he do that? What made him so successful? He didn't enslave his captors. He didn't imprison them to starve them to death. He simply changed their language. He knew only too well, as does Satan, that if you change languages, you change mindsets and cultures as well. And this has been Satan's game. He has drawn people away from knowing the Father's original language. He has succeeded in causing everyone to forget Lashon, HaKadesh, Kadam, and to think in ways that are contrary to the Father's original ways, contrary to the way. This book is designed to complement my YouTube videos, to help you follow along with me as I deliver deeper and more accurate understandings about the Father's Word. It is also designed to get you started on your own journey into the marvels and mysteries of Scripture. If you haven't watched my video titled, Having the Mind of Christ, I urge you to do so before you go any further. I posted this video on my YouTube channel on October 25th, 2013. Go to youtube.com slash watch Alan to watch it. Its thumbnail icon looks like this, except it's in color. Having the mind of Yahshua. This video includes a very powerful delivery about the mindset of Yahshua, about the way it has been obscured by Satan and how we can restore it for ourselves and for others. Please watch this video and every video that follows from that date forward on my YouTube channel. For then I shall turn into, rather unto the peoples, a clean lip, a pure language, so that they all call on the name of Yahweh to serve him with one shoulder. Zephaniah, Zephaniah 3.9 what follows are my reference charts, revealing the most ancient pictograph letters of the Father's language. I've outlined all 22 of them, along with their numerical values. His letters also serve as numbers and all their meanings. A letter in the Aramaic slash Hebrew is an oat say oat, and means a sign. The plural is odiot, say odiot, and words are written and read from right to left. Also, please note that since I was unable to find any font library containing the proper combination of pictographs, I drew each one of these myself. Afterwards, I thought to myself, how appropriate. This is just how it should be done, personally and by hand. I trust this work will help you 
as you join with me in discovering how to properly pitch a tent with our beloved Abba Father Yahweh. Shalom, my friend. The Odeote. Aleph equals one. Say ah or eh. Pictograph ox head. Abba Father Yahweh. Headship, especially of a family, being yoked to headship, being taught by headship, strength and power. Note, the father and the son are the Aleph and the Ta. Bet equals two. Say B or V. Pictograph House Son Yahshua. House literal as well as one's physical body, as well as one's bloodline, i.e., House of David. Family, being in or with when placed at the front of a word. Gimel equals three. Say G, like get. Pictograph, foot. Ruach HaKodesh, the Father's Spirit, one's walk toward or away from Elohim, gathering as in herding sheep, messenger, how pleasant are the feet of those who bring the good news. Romans ten fifteen. Dalet equals four. Say D. Pictograph door. Yahshua is the door. Movement back and forth in and out of the door. Dangling, weakness, as in hanging one's head down, the four dimensions of space and time. Hey equals five. 
say H or ah. Pictograph, man with arms raised. Look, behold, breath or sigh, as in awe. Revelation, melta. Fifth dimension of spirit. The Father is spirit and seeks those who worship him in spirit. Often used as the or of. Vav equals six. Say W or O or U. Pictograph, tent peg, a nail or a hook to add something or to secure a thing. The number of man in the physical. Zayin equals seven, say Z. Pictograph, plowing tool. Spiritual man, living the Torah, brings freedom. Digging into the word, being fruitful and spreading the good seed. Remembering the Shabbat. Chet equals eight, say ch, ch, guttural, ch, pictograph, fence, to divide, Yahshua came to bring division, Luke twelve fifty one, to protect, to surround, the resurrection, the nechtechtech, Chai, the operation of the spiritual gifts. Pret, tet, equals nine, say T. Pictograph, basket, to surround, to contain and to store to catch fish, generosity, to give in secrecy. Yod equals 10, say Y or E. Pictograph, arm and hand, work, want what one makes, actions, what one does, Worship, throw. Kaf equals 20, say K. Pictograph, open palm, to bend, to allow to open, to tame or subdue, the work of Yahshua, the filling of the Ruach. Lamed equals 30, say El. Pictograph, staff, the leader and teacher of the flock. To protect and to steer the sheep, to yoke, as in being yoked to Yahshua, discipleship. Mem or Mim equals 40, say M, pictograph, 
water. The water slash word that washes us clean. The blood that purchases and saves us. The question as in the wonders of the sea. Mightiness as in the size of the sea. Chaos as in the storms of the sea. Nun equals 50, say N. Pictograph, seed. The good seed, Yahshua. The bad seed, Satan. Perpetuation, unstoppable motion. Offspring or heir. Samech equals 60. Say S. Pictograph, thorn. A sharp and piercing shield. Elohim's hedge of protection. To grab and to hold. A thorn is a seed which attaches itself to hair and to clothing. Infinity and limitless. Ayin equals 70. Say, G. Grain. Guttural. Pictograph. I. Spiritual sight and vision. To watch. To know. The word and his ruach. Converging in your soul. A equals 80. Say P or F. Pictograph, mouth. To speak. To praise. To blow. The edge as in a shore. Sadi. Said. Said. No, rather, Sadi equals ninety. Say s. Pictograph path. The way, following Yeshua, hunting or chasing, the side of something, like laying on one side. To ambush righteousness. Chuf equals 100. Say Q. Pictograph sun at the horizon. A cycle as in the Moedim. Light, growing or diminishing. Time, as in a day. Resh equals 200. Say, R. Pictograph, a man's head. Headship, Elohim or Hahrasha, the wicked one. Thoughts. As a man thinks, so is he. Chief or first. Shin equals 300. Say sh. Pictograph two front teeth. Teeth. Sharp or cutting, pressing, a pair 
or the second one. Tao equals 400, say T. Pictograph, crossed sticks to mark a location, a sign, one's signature, a monument. Note the father and the son are the Aleph and the Ta. How to conduct your studies. The quickest way, of course, is to contact me with a query, and I'm happy to conduct a video teaching for you on my YouTube channel, providing it's a study that benefits many. However, if you want to learn to do this yourself, here are the processes I use. Firstly, since Strong's Concordance references only the King James Version of the word, we need to use the King James Version, for the most part, in determining the English words that have been used to interpret the first covenant books. And secondly, since Strong's only ref refers to the Greek interpretations of the renewed covenant books, we need to go to the Alent, see below, in determining the English words that have been used to interpret the renewed covenant books. Regarding or referencing the first covenant books. When it comes to the first covenant books, Genesis through Malachi, we begin by taking any English word from any of the first covenant books. That that you want to understand more fully. Next, you will go to Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, published by Hendrickson Publishers. As an example, we'll look at the word friend, as found in 2 Chronicles 27, KJV, where it says that Avraham is Elohim's friend forever. 1. We look up the word friend in Strong's, listed alphabetically, and see that for 2 Chronicles 27, the reference number for the English word friend is H157. 2. We then go to the back of Strong's under Dictionary of Hebrew and Aramaic Words and look up H157, where we see that the original Aramaic slash Hebrew word is Achab and that his word is comprised of three Aramaic slash Hebrew letters, Aleph, Che, and Beit right to left. Note. You'll see that the Aramaic slash Hebrew letters in Strong's are from the modern Hebrew alphabet. So I've made a chart for you to reference on page 23. Once you know the correct odiot letters from the modern Hebrew, you can then turn to the more ancient pictograph odiot. Three. Finally, you can look the odiot up in the previous section of this book and put your study together. In so doing, you will easily see that this English reference 
to Avraham being Elohim's friend lacks the much more meaningful picture that is revealed when looking at the Aramaic slash Hebrew word. By looking at the two outside odiot, Aleph and Be'et, we see that Yahweh is the father and the headship, Aleph, of Avraham's house and family, Be'et. And then, by looking at the ot in the center, Che, we see that this is because of Avraham's spiritual worship and awe for the Father. Thus, the word Ahab is saying that Yahweh has become the father and headship of Avraham's house and family because of Avraham's spiritual worship and awe for the father. Now, doesn't that say a whole lot more than Avraham was the father's friend? It sure does. And even more than that, it starts filling our own thoughts with the Eastern mindset of Yahshua, bringing to mind the idea of pitching, pitching your tent with Elohim. Regarding the renewed covenant books, unfortunately, when it comes to the renewed covenant books, Matthew through Revelation, Strong's does not allow us to discover the original Aramaic slash Hebrew words that were penned because it only references the Greek text for these books. There is a way around this, however, and that is to use the Aramaic English New Testament compiled by Andrew Gabriel Roth and published by Netzari Press. To obtain, to obtain a copy of this book and to see how this process works, see my YouTube video titled Aid to Allen's Book, dated December 2013. Or type this link into your web browser, http colon slash slash tinyurl.com slash kgye 7 wa The video will clearly show you the steps I take in researching both the first and the renewed covenant books. Modern Hebrew Aleph, Tet, Pe, Bait, Yod, Sadi, Schad, Gimel, Chaf, Chuf, Delet, Lamid, Resh, Che, Mim, Shin, Vav, Nun, Ta, or Tau, Zain, Semech, Chet, Ain, YouTube dot com slash Watch Allen. Delivering the word of Elohim as it was intended, with Hebrew slash Aramaic understanding and without any doctrines of men. Watch Allen Bible Studies. Videos, discussion about, subscribe. Faith comes by hearing. 1,009 views one year ago. The truth. Alan explains how to increase your faith. Contrary to most teachings, faith does not come 
by hearing the word. Rather, faith comes by hearing, spiritual hearing, and spiritual hearing comes by experiencing revelation from Elohim through his word. Please donate if you feel led to. Your contributions help me to continue doing these videos. Thank you. My Abba Yahweh, rather, may Abba Yahweh make you to be Baruch. May he keep you. May he... And then it's cut off. Recent uploads. Alan's book, Road to Paradise. How to find the way. The gifts of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah scriptures. Extra biblical books. Once saved, always saved. About marriage. Watch Alan's videos on YouTube. Do you have questions about the word? Alan has produced more than 200 videos answering the questions of his YouTube subscribers. Chances are he has already answered yours. Visit Alan's YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button. See at the top right of the web page, rather seen at the top right of the web page and support him on the web. If you need to ask Alan a question, click on the About tab and send him your message. If your question is profitable to others, he'll make a video as your answer. AlanHorvath.com Home about A's music, A's jams, A's faith, A's ride, contact. Alan has over 200 teachings on YouTube. Watch Alan on YouTube. Order Alan's book. Acoustic Rock for Real. The Master ordered that those who preach the gospel should be supported by those who benefit from it. 1 Corinthians 9.14 Donate via PayPal or credit card. Copyright 1999 to the present by Alan Horvath. All rights reserved. Need a website? Get Alan. Homepage about Alan. Alan's music. Jam. Alan's faith. Alan's ride. Contact Alan. Site map. Visit Alan's personal website. Download more than 60 free mp3s of Alan's original songs and performances. Read Alan's biographical story, plus articles written about his long-term, rather long-time career in the music industry. Read dozens of Alan's essays about the word. Check out Alan's 1954 Chevy pickups slash street rod by clicking the A's Ride button with tons of photo tutorials for your, for rather, for street rod enthusiasts. Musicians, click on the Jam button and check out Alan's cool links and tutorials about playing stringed instruments. Keep up with Alan's latest news. Follow him on Facebook and Twitter and more.